Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions uh, and in today's video uh, we're going to be talking about fields in AutoCAD and how they can help you speed up and automate uh, a ton of things in AutoCAD. Most importantly, uh, text. Uh, you might be watching this on my YouTube channel, uh, CAD Intentions, uh, and if you are, you're familiar with my Two Minute Tuesday videos, uh, which is what this one's going to be. But it's also going to be embedded on the Tuesday tip article I wrote for the AutoCAD blog. Uh, so if you're watching this there, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. So I'm going to try and keep this quick uh, and give you guys some more explanation and context to using fields in AutoCAD. So first we're going to go over the example I wrote about in the article, which I'll link below if you haven't read it. Uh, but basically we're going to use a field to automate the scale text uh, of our viewport or detail uh, label here. So you can see I've got two here and neither is dynamic since this is just plain text. By using a field, and I'll show you how to insert that, we can automate this text so that it'll change and update as you change the view of your viewport. This can be a huge time saver uh, and prevent errors later on if someone else is working on the drawing or if you are and you change the scale of your viewport and forget to update the text. So to get started, you're going to want to go into your text, whether it's an M text or in this attribute, and you can select the text you want to turn into a field or just delete it uh, and right click and say insert field. If you've got text select selected, you can still do the same thing. So we're going to right click and insert our field. And from here, you're going to get this drop down category. Uh, it may default to all. You can make it quicker and easier by selecting objects in our case. And then we're going to choose our field name, which is the object. We're going to choose our object type. We're going to select our viewport. And then over here, you can choose the property you want the text to display. In our case, we're going to use custom scale, which will show over here on the right under the preview. And from there, we're going to choose the format we'd like to show our scale in. We've been using uh, the number to one in this case, so it's going to show as 20 to one. If we hit OK, that adds our field, which you can tell by the grayed out text, into our attribute editor uh, dialog box. To add this to your label, simply hit OK, and you can see now that we have an attribute. Next, we can quickly test it out by simply changing the scale of our viewport. So we're going to unlock this first. And let's say we change it to uh, 15 to 1. You can see it's zoomed out a little bit. Uh, and you can see that the text is still 20 to 1. To update a field, you can type in regen to regen uh, all of the fields or simply save your drawing. But once we've typed in regen and hit enter, you can see that the scale has automatically updated. Again, this can be a huge time saver, uh, and I really think more people should be making their drawings and text, more importantly, smarter by using fields wherever they can uh, help speed up their process. So I'm gonna show you guys another couple quick ways to use fields. Uh, one is to grab an area for a piece of text. Uh, and I'll show you the example here. So I'm just gonna lock this viewport so that I don't accidentally move it by moving around here. Uh, and I'm gonna show you what I mean by using it to grab an area. Let's say we wanna use it to grab areas of rooms. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna draw a quick uh, polyline or closed polygon in the area that I'd like to calculate. So I'm gonna close that. You can see here, I've got this box. It's in the uh, study uh, room extents. So, the area of this box would be the area of this room. So once we have our area, which you could put these boxes on say a def point layer or a no plot layer so that they don't actually show up on your drawings, but you can use them to grab areas of different parts of your uh, drawing. 
we're going to insert that area into our label. So again, we're going to double click in to edit it. We're going to insert a field. So if you right click, you can choose insert field. You can also use control F. It's going to ask us again for our object since we've already chosen that. Make sure object is chosen. We're going to hit this little button to choose our object. You can see it's grabbed the polyline. And what I want this time is the area. You could also use it for elevation, layer, length, uh, line type, material. You can see all the options here. We're going to use area. I'm going to choose my format, which I like that. Uh, you can also go in and choose additional formatting, which would be adding a prefix or a suffix. We're going to add in a uh, square meter since that is the unit of our area here. So you can see we've got square meters in the suffix and we're going to hit OK. You can preview it over here. If you like how it looks, simply hit OK and it's going to be inserted into your drawing. Uh, another thing to note is that this gray indicates that the value or the text inside of it is a field and will be automatically populated. Uh, it also uh, will be a single piece of text. You can't change this or edit it. So if we move our box around, let's say we decided to shrink up the room by this much and we regen again, you can see that the area automatically updates. So again, this can be a huge time saver. Uh, if you've got things that are changing a lot in your drawings, or text that is important to you that always stays updated. Um, and I'm going to show you one other quick way we can use this, but I hope you guys are getting kind of the gist and I don't want to drag the video out too long. So the last one I'll show you guys is a date. This is an example of one that you can have automatically update. You can see I've already got fields over here that would be um, automatically updated by say my sheet set. Uh, I'm going to change it so that this date is automatically updated to the current date. So you can just choose date over here and then choose the uh, style or format. You can see over here that I'm using day, day, month, month, uh, year, year, year. So over on the left here, we can choose uh, something similar that we'd like. You can also go in and edit it up here. So if I wanna choose day, day, you can see on the side here, it gives you the hints. So day, day, month, month, and year, year, year. We hit OK. You can see 17, 12, 2018. That's the day I'm recording this video. When we hit OK, you can see that this is automatically populated. So now you've never got drawings that are misdated or mislabeled, uh, areas that are out of date, or scales that are wrong. So these are just a few of the hundreds uh, of ways and possibilities you can use fields in your drawings. Uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed my first Tuesday tip article on the AutoCAD blog. Uh, if you guys haven't checked it out, again, I'll put the link below. And if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, I'd love it if you guys hopped over, uh, subscribed, and liked the video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Cheers! Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.